What's everybody? <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope everybody's doing good out there. Today it's a nice rainy cold day. I think fall is finally finally really setting in. But me and Kate we're gonna hit a few goodwills. We don't get a cart, it's bad luck. Getting a cart here is bad luck. I never find anything when I get a cart. Hocus. Kind of a dad joke. Look at that. Look how tore up that is. Uh, mm -hmm. $10.99. It's happening, folks. It's falling apart. What are these? Those are, those are like wrestling shoes. Usually when they have those on there, it usually means they're wrestling. This is probably the coolest thing I've seen here so far. But I'm not going to pick it up. They want too much for it. $4.99. Tell me what you found so far for reselling. Just these two. I found these two things. So like this is the same thing. Oh uh, yeah. This is 1999. That's 2000. Where is this? this one's signed. Carnustic? Carnusty? I don't know. World Golf Championship. Look. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's one listed right there. The same hat for sixteen hundred dollars. Tiger. That's not. That's not Tiger Woods though. That's not Tiger uh, Woods signature. No. Who is it though? I'm trying to bring it up here. Sixteen hundred for a Tiger Woods sign. This is listed for that much, but either way, we'll get it and we'll figure it out later. Yeah. I looked this one up right here. This one's not worth it. No. I think if it was like, a, Park. if it was a better driver, you know what I'm saying? I looked it up. There's a bunch yeah. listed, so okay. we don't have to get that one. I think I'm going to pick this up. This is a Ralph Lauren. I'm pretty sure it's vintage, if I'm not mistaken. It's 100% wool made in USA. I've never seen that logo before on a Ralph Lauren. So, and it's... Looks like it's in pretty good shape. It's very interesting. Very interesting coat. Very long, like, pea coat style. I think I'm going to grab it, though. What's the price on this bad boy? $7.99. I think I'm going to grab it, though. I don't think I've ever touched 100% camel hair before because <laughs> when I touched this on the rack, it definitely felt different. Man, it is super smooth and soft, but it's a Haspel 100% 100% camel hair. 100% camel hair and it's yellow, so it's half off, I think. It's half off, which is $7, so like $3.50. All right, well, we just arrived at the second Goodwill, and that was a that jacket's pretty cool, that uh, Ralph Lauren one. And that sports coat is super soft. I don't think I've ever had uh, <laughs> camel hair anything before because I, when I touched it, I was like, that is, that's different. And of course, you know, it turned out to be a different material, so. So the only thing I came across is this, and I mean, Kate is literally checking out up there right now, and I'm just looking as we're leaving, and I've seen this, this vase, or boss, however you say it, I guess, urn, it is, I mean, there are some pretty good looking comps on something like this. I did not expect to see anything like this, and they only want $4.99 for it. So I think I'm gonna pick this up. Even though Kate's already checked out with what she got for something for herself. Look at this. But I think I'm going to buy that. <laughs> Just because I don't really, I don't know enough about it right now. And it's only $5. So, I mean, I think it's worth it. Plus it has the lid. Which it seems like it's, the lid makes it pretty valuable. It seems to be. Some of these urns on here don't have lids. And they're not very valuable. But if it has the, the top to it, it looks like it's got more potential value. So I guess we're going to pick up this, this thing. See, like, stuff like this you just don't think about. You know, like, you just walk past it. You know, like... We just got out of there, and the sun is shining. I don't know what that that urn is going to be worth, but it'll be interesting to find out. Um, 
we're gonna do some more research on that bad boy and see what we can find it's really beautiful i mean so is so is the uh urn also <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah i'm curious i'm gonna do some more research on it um when we get back to the garage but anyway we're gonna go to another thrift store so let's hit it third time's a charm It's gotta be $4.99. Can you guess who this is? Right here? Cat Noir. Good guess. <laughs> this is really cool, but it's not really worth the $7. But it is pretty cool. Comps are like in the 20s. Plus shipping, but seven dollars. I'm just not gonna. I'm not gonna waste my time with it. It's cool though. Got a cool pair of Justin boots here, but they want twenty dollars for them. I'm gonna pass. Plus they're a little bit tore up, so I'm not gonna grab those. Still looking through the shirts. Then I'm gonna look at the hats over there. So far, I'm not really finding much. Oh, we just got out of that Goodwill. There's a few things I would have maybe bought, but they were just too expensive. So I passed on all of them. So we walked out with nothing, which is okay. We've accepted it. We've accepted that we're not gonna, not gonna get anything. All right, we'll see you in the garage. Hey guys, well we're back in the garage and it's the next day. I've got a few things that need to go out on eBay that you gotta go to the post office. And then I'm gonna go over with you guys the stuff that we did get. I'm gonna talk about it a little bit more, kind of interesting. These sales aren't really crazy or anything, but there's like four items total. Uh, we got Wild Bill over here in A2. He's gotta go. I think it's that one right there actually yep that's the right one wild bill right there he sold for five dollars and nine cents and the buyer did pay shipping next thing we got going out is a vera bradley bag in c1 right here and this bag's actually going to go out to a viewer uh sheila thank you for your support i really appreciate you buying all the stuff you bought before and then now this this other vera bradley bag i really really appreciate it thanks Next up, we have a pair of Bionic shoes um, that are going out. These were on big sale. I think it's these right here, actually. And uh, these Bionic shoes actually sold on sale for $15.94. Buyer did pay shipping, so not too bad. And the last thing we got going out is a Skylanders figure in A4. Skylanders figures, some of them can be worthwhile. I never got into Skylanders, so I don't know much about them, but evidently there are some that are a lot rarer than others so you can kind of pick up a lot of them and you might have a few of them that are worth worth it anyway this one right here sold for $15.99 free shipping so we got four things going out and there they are now let's talk a little bit about the stuff that we picked up at the thrift store kind of google lens them and I can't quite figure it out yet so but anyway you guys can let me know what you think in the comments about any of these things but we got these two hats first off and i paid 2.99 for each hat saint andrews and whatever that is <laughs> and <laughs> this one's a open 1999 this one's an open 2000 so they're definitely vintage hats and they were in good shape so i figured i'd pick them up they gotta be worth something i i'm just kind of gambling on these uh let me know what you guys think about those hats and then we got this other one uh probably donated by the same people i imagine world golf championship um uh, firestone country club the hat's in overall pretty good shape it's a authentic headgear but the cool thing about this and why i picked it up was it was had a signature on it now i did google lens this and it shows there's a lot of different hats that have signatures on this particular hat and none of them have really sold but I don't even know who that even is. I couldn't even really read it. It looks like Ken Jenkins or something. I'm, I'm not even sure. I tried looking it up. I couldn't really find it. But anyway, I did pick all three of these hats up. And I think they're all pretty decent for all the all unique reasons being these are vintage and this one's signed. I figured they were worth the $3 for each one of them. Doing a little bit of research and consulting with some people, I have come to the conclusion that this is a Ken venturi signature on this uh world golf championships hat and uh appreciate aj for helping me out he's the one that did the research and figured out whose signature it was 
Um, <laughs> so thank you, AJ. But uh, anyway, that's who it is. And it looks like he's no longer around. He died in 2013. He's an older professional golfer. So uh, I'm probably going to list his hat around the 29 39 maybe $49 range. I'm not sure. There's not a ton. There's not a lot of his signed stuff out there. And I haven't seen any hats with his signature except for one that had a bunch of other signatures on it. I'm probably going to list a little bit higher and maybe turn on best offer. And we'll see what happens with it. Lastly, the thing I want to talk about, obviously, is going to be the this urn or vase or whatever you would call it. Um, this thing is really cool. And I don't know how I didn't see it the first time I went through and looked at the shelves. But... I mean, it's definitely hand painted. You can see the colors and the lines. So I'm hoping maybe this is like the 50, 60, $70 range. Go ahead and open this up and let's see if there's anything in there. I don't think there is. And there better better not be nothing, nothing crazy in there. All right, so I got the tape off of it. And just so you guys know, buying that, I don't know if you've seen a couple of videos back, I bought that uh, hair dryer and I wanted to try it on stickers. And I'll tell you what, I'm impressed by how well it works on stickers most of the time like with packaging tape that was on this man that stuff really helped because when i started pulling it off i realized that the packaging tape was so sticky that it was starting to pull the paint off a of vase or urn and once i started to heat it up it just left it alone and completely it didn't pull any other stuff off of it so if you're a, if you're a reseller and you don't have a a, a hair dryer or a heat gun or something for stickers i'll tell you it seems like it's i used to use a lot of goof off and goo gone which i still do every now and then the hair dryer has definitely made it easier let's open this up and let's see if there's anything in it i hope i really hope not okay good there's nothing in it thank goodness all right guys but that's gonna do it for this video really appreciate you guys watching and i'll see you on the next one